Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2017. I'm Anastasia Crockett. Believe it or not, there are rivers in the sky. <laughs> we got the details. And I'm Marissa Eckheiser. SpaceX had to postpone a date with the International Space Station. Your CSN News starts now. Congratulations to the Columbia Varsity Wrestling Team who won back to this who won back-to-back -back district and conference championships over the weekend. The next stop is state champion uh, competition this weekend at the Idaho Center. Go Wildcats! Mrs. McDade will be offering an AP microeconomics next year. However, it's not, it, it got put into the course catalog after junior registration window had closed. If you are interested in taking AP microeconomics, here at Columbia, come and talk to Mrs. McDade in room A263 or talk to your counselor. If you sign up for AP Economics at Skyview but would rather take AP Microeconomics at Columbia, that's a doable option. There will be an informational meeting for all junior girls interested in participating in Banffa Valley's Distinguished Young Women's Scholarship Program after school at 2 today, Wednesday, February 22nd, in the Commons. Attention seniors, if you're coming for, uh, from a migrant or seasonal farm working background, please come to the Career Center Thursday at lunch to see what scholarship opportunities are available to you. Treasure Valley Community College will be at Columbia to talk about the program. The fourth annual cross check for cancer hockey game will be March 7th here in our gym. Game time is 7 p.m. and cost is $2 to get in. All proceeds go to the two individuals we are playing for and helping with their medical costs. This event has raised over $15,000 at the last three years. Be part of the fun. Saturday is the BPA dinner auction at Skyview starting at 5.30. Tickets are just $12 and can be purchased at the door. This year's theme is Night of the Stars, so you put on your gown and come on out for an elegant evening. You'll be sorry if you miss this evening of glamour and good food. Our next all active day is Thursday. If you're involved in a club that you feel just isn't right for you, you can change that club one time this school year. To do so, please see your club advisor to get a change request form. Fill out that form and have your new club advisor sign off on joining that club. Also, Thursday at lunch, Lewis and Clark State College will be here in the Career Center for your answer. Any questions you may have about LCSC. If you are if you need more information, please talk to Ms. Talbot. Ladies, are you bringing a date to Sadie's from another school? Guest passes are available in the front office. We'll be right back after this. Ladies, don't forget, the Sadie's dance is coming up. Be sure to ask the special guy to the dance. The dance takes place on March 4th from 8 to 10.30 p.m. The cost is $6 per person. The theme is 80s, so be sure to perm your hair and wear plenty of leopard print. Hope to see you there. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller, your smiles your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is going to be a 43 with a low of 29 and it's going to be partly cloudy. Tomorrow's high is going to be a 40 with a low of 24 and it's going to be mostly cloudy on that day. Back to you, Marissa. Thank you, Anastasia. One of many streams of vapor flowing through the atmosphere, the Pineapple Express is an example of the weather phenomenon known as an atmospheric river. These rel relatively narrow bands play a major role in the transportation of water around the planet, bringing vast quantities of vapor from one place to another. But they can also wreak havoc when they make landfall, causing flooding and extreme weather. According to paper published Monday in Nature Geoscience, large atmospheric rivers can carry more than a dozen times the water of the Mississippi River at its mouth. According to the National Oceanic and Atmosphere atmospheric admiration and account for up to half of the West Coast annual precipitation. 
Courtesy to NASA, a SpaceX Dragon cargo ship packed with nearly three tons of supplies aborted its revenue to the International Space Station early this morning due to the navigation software glitch, NASA officials said. The supply ship will now aim for a Thursday arrival at the station. The unpiloted Dragon capsule aborted its approach to the space station at 3.25 a.m. When it detected an incorrect value in the relative global positioning system software used to pinpoint in the place in the sky with the orbiting lab. The spacecraft was about 1,200 meters, just over 17 of a mile, from the station when the glitch occurred. At no point were the astronauts and the cosmonauts on board the space station was in any, any danger, officials said. Today's SAT word of the day is visceral, which means relating to an internal organ, bringing out a gut reaction. You could use it this way. She had a visceral response to a lima bean. She, was, she gagged every time they appeared on her plate. Thanks for watching. Remember, if the news breaks, live the wild, live the wild cat. cat way. <laughs> yes.